Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video here, um, and I want to apologize ahead of time. I uh, unfortunately have come down with the flu, so my voice is a little weak and scratchy, but uh, I didn't want to wait any longer to get this video out. And one of those, <coughs> excuse me, what this video is going to be about is one of the most powerful features of Scrapebox that a lot of people don't use. A lot of people use Scrapebox simply for blog commenting, and it is great for that. Um, I use Scrapebox more for other things. I rarely use it for blog commenting because it has so many powerful features, and uh, this is one of them. And what this is video is going to be about is how you can use Scrapebox to find places to leave backlinks for your own website using the efforts of other people already. Um, what we're going to do is you want to find a blog that a lot of people have left comments on. You want to find an article. Um, where there's a lot of comments. You can use whatever method you want, just go into Google, search for something popular, um, and you're looking for a blog like this one, where you can see here there's a lot of com 27 comments, but they're all anchor text. People are leaving, you know, they're not leaving just their name. These are internet marketers. That's what you're looking for, people promoting things. And what you're going to do, you're going to take this URL and copy it, and you want to open up Notepad and you're going to copy the URL into Notepad and save this as a file. I'm just going to call this URL and save it to my desktop and then I can get rid of this. Now what we're going to do is go into desktop, uh, Scrapebox and one of the add-ons that a lot of people don't use and I suggest that you add it, and if you don't have it, go to this show available add-ons and install it. Um, it's a Scrapebox link extractor. You want to open that up, and what we're going to do is select import URLs from a file, and I'm going to go to that URL.txt file that I created, and there it is. Down at the bottom, what we want to do is select external links. We want to look for the places where that blog was linking to, not incoming links. We want to see where it's linking to. We want to get those pages. You hit start and it found 53 outbound links and what we're going to do is export these to another file. I'm just going to call this URLs to scrape. Save it to the desktop and we can exit this. What you want to do then is go in the scrape box and the keyword box. You're going to import that file you just created, URLs to scrape. Um, sometimes you'll end up with junk like this. I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't need that. Um, and here we have 42 sites. I'm going to remove any duplicates that might be there. None. Okay. <coughs> now, what you want to do, we want to get. These are those internet marketers' websites. These are the places that they were linking to. We want to find out, we want to see their whole link profile or as many links as we can that they have coming into those pages that they've created. So we're going to do a custom footprint. I created a text file, and in that text file, all it is is the word link semicolon. What you're going to do, you're going to select the merge button and I'm going to select that link file that I created and you'll see what it's going to do in the keyword box. It puts the word link in front of every single one of those keywords. What we want to do, and you could easily go in and type it all, but if you have a huge list here, that takes too long. I don't like wasting time. So, What this is going to return for us, we're going to select Yahoo and it's going to select all the backlinks that Yahoo has indexed coming into those pages. So you're going to hit start harvesting. And of course you want to make sure that you're doing this with proxies. Um, otherwise your, your IP address will get banned pretty quickly by a search engine. And it's coming back with all the backlinks that these pages currently have. I 
you can see it's winding down here. Okay, just for the sake of time, I'm just going to stop it here, but I could easily let it keep going and get the rest of them. So, we stop it, close this, remove duplicate URLs, 315 gone. So, we have a little over 6,700 sites that have backlinks leading to these sites. And people have used these for, for backlinks. Now, what you do with those sites is up to you. There's a couple things that you could do. Um, we could check the page rank of those URLs and get rid of the lower page rank if you just want to focus on high page rank pages. Um, another thing you could do, there's another add-on called Blog Analyzer. If you're looking just for places where you could leave a comment, you can load in the list from the Scrapebox, Har Scrapebox Harvester. And what this will do, if I hit Start, It'll go through, it'll see if it's a WordPress platform, a uh, movable type, blog engine. It's looking for anything that Scrapebox could post to. It'll tell you if it's open for comments or if the comments are closed, if there's any kind of spam protection, and any kind of CAPTCHA that would have to be entered in in order to get a comment there. And it will go through and analyze all these pages for you and come back with that information, and then you can filter it however you want to use that. So that's one thing you could do with the list. Um, as I said, you could f sort out and just look for, say, page rank four and above sites, <clears throat> and then manually go through these sites, and you'll see some opportunities for some high quality backlinks back to your web page. Now, I did this starting with just one site. If you remember in the beginning, we started with just this site. Usually, when I do this, and I, I did one site just to keep the video short. I do at least probably 30, 40, 50 sites at a time and feed them into Scrapebox and I come back with a list of, you know, sometimes it's a million different backlinks I'll end up with to, to sort through. And then I just take the highest quality ones. You could easily, you know, filter. If you are uh, like to use Scrapebox for blog commenting, this is a great way to find a ton of blogs out there. Uh, just a little different method than just, you know, using the typical keyword search. So hope that helps you out and shows you some of the uh, another one of the, the features and the, the power that that scrapebox holds for you.